MMA Boxing Talk here, coming at you with another video. I just want to put out a video talking about the fight that just took place last night with John Jones and OSP. Um, it was a five-round unanimous decision for John Jones. It was a very dominant performance for John Jones. Um, you know, it was um, it was an interesting fight. It was a uh, a nail-biting fight. I mean, uh, as much as OSP, you know, he didn't really, um, he never really hurt John Jones. He caught him with a few good punches. He had John Jones, um, you know, it didn't look good on a certain occasions, but those occasions would last for very, very brief moments, you know what I mean? For two, three seconds, it would look like, oh shit, here's G OSP coming, you know? And then John Jones would just go back to himself fighting that distance, using those kicks, um, and, you know, John Jones also, um, you know, definitely not his best performance of his career, you know, he's, uh, definitely can be a more, um, exciting fighter, more of aggressive fighter, takes more risks, like, he took a lot more risks in the DC fight, um, but, you know, OSP is a, is a, he's, um, he's an absolute animal, big, strong, athletic, um, very, very tough, we found that out in this fight, so he kept coming, you know, he didn't, um, really shy away too, too much, um, word is he broke his arm in the fourth round, the fourth and fifth round he had a broken arm, um, you know, John Jones was using his kicks, um, to the legs, to the, um, you know, the obliques, um, landing kicks to the body, you know, he was just breaking OSP down with those kicks, he kept him at bay with those kicks, um, very dominating performance, not the best John Jones could do, um, and I truly believe, you know, when John Jones says that he's the type of fighter that doesn't like to take a fight on, on short notice, um, and if you don't believe it, well, look at the um, Chael Sonnen fight, he didn't want to take Chael Sonnen on late notice, um, and, you know, so this time he was doing it for the fans, he was trying to repay uh, the favor to the fans, and not pull out, you know, the fans have waited a long time for John Jones to return, he didn't want to set that back a couple more extra months, so, you know, he went out there, and he got the job done, um, you know, credit to OSP, you know, he's, he hung in there the whole time, um, he did not look out of place too, too much, I mean, you know, um, he did well, his stock definitely rised, in my opinion, um, but, you know, John Jones, at the end of the day, he, um, he dominated that fight. He could have been more dominant. You know, he said, you know, he, he'd see a lot of openings and, and, and opportunities. And he just, you know, he'd only, he'd only capitalize on 50 or 60% of them. You know, a lot of times he was, he was hesitant, he said. And he did look hesitant, you know. Um, he didn't let his hands go really much. Not that he normally lets his hands go with combinations, but he throws more punches. Um, he was using the kicks. The kicks were working. He's kind of stuck with that game plan. Um, it was a good win for Jones. I mean, um, it's, a, it's a nice five-round fight. Gets you back into the groove. Um, you know, a first-round finish, you know, would have done great to his confidence. But, you know, um, he's, he's more active now. You know, he went 25 minutes. I, I think that's better for him. He didn't really get too banged up. I mean, his, leg, or his, his shin and his foot are probably sore and, and bruised up, but that's nothing serious. Um, and he's going back in the gym later next week, he's going to ice that stuff up, but, um, so we'll see, I, I can't wait to see if, um, you know, if John Jones can make the turnaround for UFC 200, he said he wanted to do it, um, I would love to see John Jones versus DC at 200, at UFC 200 July 9th, if that doesn't happen, personally, I think that, um, you know, save that one for, for New York, you know what I mean, um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, uh, it was a great fight. Uh, one thing I didn't mention too, the uh, the total strikes. John Jones, 131 strikes landed. OSP, 58. John Jones um, threw 172 punches, landed 131. That's a 76% accuracy. That is absolutely phenomenal. Um, he doubled OSP's percentage. OSP had... Um, OSP had 36% accuracy, he, he landed 58 out of 158, um, and John Jones, you know, two takedowns, and, um, yeah, so, I mean, um, awesome, uh, John Jones, dominant win, 
definitely be fighting DC next. Can't wait. Hopefully it's UFC 200. We'll see. If you like the video, subscribe. That's it for this one. MMA Boxing Talk. Peace.